When it comes to playing football, the Italians know more than just a thing or two. With success at all levels of the game, it's clear why Italy's coaching methods have been highly sought after the world over. Noi siamo una nazione piccola che ha vinto quattro campionati del mondo, vuol dire che siamo una scuola importante. Renzo Olivieri is head of the Italian Coaches Association. Continuing a 42-year career which has seen him at the helm of many of the country's top clubs. Together with prominent youth coach Maurizio Viscidi and Professor Francesco Perondi, the trio recently offered a select group of Aussie coaches an insight on what they do best. You know, to be able to break things down the way the Italians do and, you know, if you want to say master the way they, they teach football. The four-day seminar honed in on the basic coaching principles as taught by the Italian masters. And of course, concentration levels were at their best when the focus turned to defending, an area the Italians are famous for. They're working on basic principles of defending, um, and as they say, the nucleus of tactics, the 2v2 and the 2v1, but the attention to specifics um, is just fantastic. It's this sort of attention to detail that has seen the likes of Fabio Capello and Giovanni Trapattoni impact positively on the national teams of England and Ireland respectively, as well as develop a new generation of champion coaches. Sì, basta pensare a Capello che nessuno avrebbe pensato mai a un allenatore italiano che diventa allenatore della nazionale inglese. Years of education and continual research has catapulted the Italians to the forefront of coaching worldwide. Though even Olivieri admits it's a constant work in progress. Da dove ci chiamano noi andiamo e chiamiamo però anche gli allenatori stranieri a parlare a noi proprio nella ricerca di questo confronto. Eh, ci sono tanti modi di pensare, ci sono tante scuole. Se c'è un pregio della scuola italiana è che è riuscita a prendere da tutte le scuole, a cercare di, di prendere le cose migliori. And it's techniques such as these that may one day help Australia bring home the World Cup instead of Italy. Yes, and Craig Foster, as you saw, did take part. Where's your certificate? Did you get a diploma or something? I want to see it. No, no, there's, no but it was a wonderful uh, four days. Uh, great information. Um, you know, Australia resistant to knowledge, resistant to change and progress for far too long. In fact, wonderful people. You know, a 68-year-old man is coached for, for decades in uh, Serie A, comes here completely open with his information, very respectful of Australian football. Uh, it's great when, you know, you see real uh, top-quality, respectful football football people, you know, it's a great joy. Uh, but, you know, they went through what are basically fundamental principles of modern football today. They have a very defensive aspect on it, but they went through the nine ways of scoring goals. They've broken it down very well. One of the guys, they all came from Covachano. So, uh, in, in many ways, it reinforced the, the direction Australia's taking. They asked some good questions about what we're going to do ten years from now as well, but really a, a brilliant exercise. All right, Foss, thanks for that, uh, and thank you for today. Okay. Lovely to spend time with you. Turning to... Uh...